Tuesday, that means it's time for us to pay round the car guy a visit Great. and talk to him to find out what in the world's going on. And I think it's cool about round the car guy. We always learn something whenever you're here. Even if you make it up, we learn something. Yeah, that, we that's, don't right. Care. that's right. That's <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. No, most of it's truthful. Um, we just want to be entertained. All right. You want me to get up and dance? <laughs> no. no. No, you don't no. want that either. You, no. sure, you don't want me to yeah. sing. That's We're going to be sure. talking about some uh, animals, some creatures that have a tendency of getting up and dancing in front of your vehicle. Absolutely, absolutely. And this is a, it's a good time of year to talk about that because this last weekend we uh, changed our, the time on our clocks. Mm -hmm. We sprang forward. Um, but wildlife didn't do that. They don't know to spring forward. They don't have an eye watch yet. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. And and so typically this type of this time of year, um, deer hits increase uh. Uh, because of the time change, and we're not a, as familiar with which watching out for them. And of course, the deer kept their regular schedule. Um, plus, there, there's a lot of younger uh, baby deer, I guess, born this type of year, so they're kind of on the move, and and the snow's melting. They're looking for new food sources and stuff. So. Um, what we've seen over the years are deer whistles. We've probably all heard about those, and you, you buy them, they're about 10 bucks for a pair, and you put them on a car, and... Um, those are kangaroo whistles. Well, actually, yeah. you know what's interesting about this? When I, when I was doing a little research on, on deer whistles, uh, in Australia, they sell a product called a shoo-roo. S-H-O-O-R-O-O. -O -O. In other words, go away, kangaroo. Yeah. And they're surprisingly <laughs> similar to deer whistles. Right. Um, but it's called the shoo and you put those on your, your vehicle to avoid uh, kangaroo hits in um, Australia. So, yeah, that is why they're surprisingly um, similar. Hmm. Um, but, but anyway, <clears throat> the, the question, and, and I actually had a, a, a viewer ask me this last week, which is where the idea came from. Um, he said, do deer whistle work? And, and it was interesting because I put a post on, on my Facebook page uh, that I was doing this segment today, and my uh, youngest sister, Denise Barrett, put, a, put a, a comment on there, and she said, Dad always put deer whistles on my car, and I never hit a deer. Well, guess what, Denise? Dad never put deer whistles on my car, and I've never hit a deer. <laughs> it's not something you predict. What do you say, though? My dad put deer whistles on my car, and I hit three deer. Well, you had them on well, backwards, and you were calling the deer oh, to your car. See, there's a way to put them yeah, on backwards. backwards. Yeah, backwards, okay? Oh. Yeah, then they act like a mating call when they're on backwards. Well, and they you're do, because they literally, like, ran towards my car. But, but like, that, that's the, the, the whole thing with, with deer whistles is, how do we know if they work? Because, you know, to put them on and say, I never hit a deer, well, some people have put them on, they've, they've hit deer. Mm -hmm. and, and so I had to go to research to talk about it. But first, we'll talk a little bit about how they work. This is what, this is actually the deluxe version. Okay. These, these are the simulated chrome deer whistles. Simulated chrome. Exactly, simulated chrome. It's hard to chrome plastic. Um, <laughs> but, but anyway, uh, the, the simulated chrome um, deer whistles here, and they, they stick onto the, the bumper or underneath your car or the grill or wherever you want to put them. And, and the way they work is as you drive, air goes through them and it creates an ultrasonic noise that right. we as humans can't okay. hear. Right. right. Okay, here, Craig, can you zoom in on what the deer, look at, can you see the deer there, folks? The deer's like hanging out. That's going to be a see, tight zoom. Okay, it'd be too tight, but see the deer there? The deer is looking right over here. Wait, where's that noise coming from? <laughs> so this is not really a good picture to have on your packaging Look there, out. Mel. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Go back to making helmets, yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe deer helmets is what there, you there need. We, yeah, make helmets for the deer <laughs> so they're safe. <laughs> anyway, Some knee pads, anyway. antler. Anyway, um, so, so here's what we do know is ultrasonic sound does not carry very far or very well. So the sound that the deer whistles make uh, likely doesn't travel far enough to warn the deer. Okay, that makes That's sense. That's a fact. Okay. So it does let off a sound that... It does. It, it definitely makes an ultrasonic like sound. You can hear the kid with the big speakers in the neighborhood five blocks away because it's bass, it's low frequency, but the higher things you can't hear as well. That correct, make, correct. Just sense. like they make, they make some whistles for your dog that, right. that you know, makes the dog upset and stuff, but you and I can't hear. Mm -hmm. And it's not just because we're older and we can't hear because we've been listening to the bass. Right. Uh, but little is known as to what frequency the deer hear, but it's believed to be similar to that of a human. So if we can't hear this, How the they deer probably hear can't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We need whistles that sound like us being well, like, ah! Exactly. Going down the roadway. Um, Perfect. Invent those. <laughs> okay. If, if many cars had this device on them, 
eventually the deer would get used to that noise and it wouldn't bother them. Good Good point. Point. Exactly. It'd be everywhere. Exactly. Um, if it was proven to work, and this, I, this is my opinion, if these were proven to work, the auto manufacturers would probably put them on the vehicle because it would be so easy to, to mold. These are plastic to mold them into the grill or the sure. bumper. You know who else would put them on? Your insurance companies would <clears throat> mandate. Just like the safe driver thing you plug in underneath to watch your driving habits. Right. You know, they spend, they spend millions and billions of dollars to engineer, you know, anti-lock brakes, airbag systems, uh, stability control. And, and if they could reduce accidents by adding a, an $8 set of deer whistles incorporated in the car, it would probably come with them. Right. Sorry, Bell. Um, so I'm pretty sure that, that if it was proven science to work, it, it would come on the car as a safety feature. Uh, the, the University of Wisconsin in Madison uh, did research. Uh, they studied these, and their conclusion was that it's unlikely they work. Yeah, and that's one of the top five states for for deer hits too. It, it, is it? Yeah, it, it, awesome. Like West Virginia, Pennsylvania are the two leaders, but Wisconsin's right up there too. West Wisconsin, Virginia. Yeah. You don't even think of that as a deer state, mm -hmm. do you? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Huh. I, I had read a study years ago uh, that the Maryland Highway Patrol studied those and found that they didn't do anything. The deer whistle. Well, and one thing we see when cars come in for service that do have these on, is the the end of it. Uh, will be packed full of bugs. <laughs> that does it, defeats the purpose. Well, because yeah. it's a funnel. Yeah. Right. You're driving down the road and it's a funnel on your grill it's and a, all of a sudden, this, I, mean, it's, I mean, it's literally just packed full of bugs. It's like, I wonder how that's working for you. It's a bug catcher. Um, but, but also, uh, the University of Melbourne in Australia did a study uh, and it was on the device that's remarkably similar to the deer whistle, but it's called the shoe roo. <laughs> and uh, the shoe roo was also uh, designed to emit a high pitched noise to alert nearby kangaroo and prevent accidents. And the University of Melbourne also concluded that it's not effective. So uh, to ask Ron, the car guy, do these work? Um, my guess is they probably don't. However, they're 10 bucks. <laughs> and if you feel safer driving them All right. or somehow have proven to yourself that they do work, um, you know, certainly support the auto parts store and Bell Company and Amazon.com, wherever it comes from, and, and put them on your car because, you know, it, it's... You know, it's like taste preference. Do you want your coffee with cream or without cream? It's like uh, I, wear, it's not hurt anything. I wear a degree deodorant, have never been eaten by an alligator, so I'm just going to keep wearing it. You know, I heard you that know. that works. Yeah. yeah so that, far yeah. it has. Yeah. 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 Exactly, yeah. exactly. And yet I've never talked to anyone that wears degree deodorant that was eaten by an alligator. <laughs> so you might be on hey. something there. <laughs> See that? All right. So now for these and many other tips and advice, so how do they get a hold of you? You know what? You can, you can go to askronthecarguy.com where you can see all the other lame episodes that we've done in the past mm -hmm. here on, on KCWI. Or you can contact me through there. You can go to our website, westsideautopros.com. I do answer all questions. And don't forget, uh oh, because we're still running it all the way through the whole month of March, we have the two wiper blade in Aquapel special for $23. There you go, wiper, wiper, wiper blade. And I just, I had a, a request come in um, just last night uh, through our online scheduling. Somebody okay. uh, sent in and said, hey, I'm coming in tomorrow at 2 o'clock for the Aquapel special. And how often should you replace your wiper blades? They should be done at least annually. Annual, at least at annually. At least. Now, if you use them to, to remove snow and ice from your windshield, you know, they're probably wore out over the winter time. Get them done. Yep. Or if you drive around with a crack in your windshield for four and a half years like Jackie used to, uh, it'll tear them up pretty quick, too. All right. Sounds great. Thank you, Ron the Car Guy. Is that one of those Thanks. services I can just walk in, or do I need to call in advance? It, it's nice for us to know that you're coming, but it's not necessary. Okay. You can just show up. We'll take care of it. Done. All right. 6.53. We'll be back. You're watching.